Wreck-It Ralph came out in the year 2012 and features the likes of John C. Reilly, Sarah Silverman, Jane Lynch and Jack McBrayer. This movie is about the main protagonist, obviously Pac-Man. Anybody that fell for that, go the fuck away. It is obviously Wreck-It Ralph by the name of the title, as this movie is basically about a guy that thinks he's a good guy, but he's actually in fact a bad guy. But in fact, he is a bad guy, but he's portrayed as a good guy, and he gets so fucking confused in his little tiny brain, and he's like, I don't know if I'm a good guy or a bad guy. So then basically he leaves the game, and then he's just sort of like, I need to prove myself to Felix and all these other pricks that keep dissing me, whether or not I am in fact a good guy and I'm going to prove myself by getting me a nice shiny gold medal and then he goes back to them and we will see what happens so let's get into it <laughs> What I like then about this movie is the actual story as the story was phenomenal as it was quite created by Disney classics and this was in one of the best 10 years probably by any animation franchise as the Disney classics from around 2000 let's say even 90s so maybe 20 30 years of amazing animation movies between like 2000 and let's say about 2015 2016 where they were absolutely on top of their game. And this was part of that time period where nothing could go wrong. And Wreck-It Ralph is so creatively made as this was one of the first times they actually did anything to do with video games. That is in a whole. As not many people made video game style movies in which this one did fantastically. So let's get into the story a little bit then. As the story was like we previously mentioned, he left to go find Mel to prove he was a good guy. And he does this by going into Hero's Duty in which he knows that there's a medal in that game. So he goes in there and basically goes turbo playing the game to go and get this medal. And he thinks his peers will like him and his friends and followers will like him at his game Wreck-It Ralph. And he thinks if he brings that back, people will try to treat him with some kind of respect. So he gets the medal, but on the way out, he stumbles on cyborg eggs, in which are the main villain in this game, and attack him until, you know, he runs into an escape pod, gets blasted out of the, uh, into the, out of their game, into a different game, in which is the Sugar Rush game, in which, if you haven't watched the movie, then I would suggest go watching the movie, then come back, and then you'll sort of get what I'm on about, because it's it's hard to explain if you've not watched the movie, put it that way. And everyone should have watched the movie, like, 2012, Jesus Christ, where have you been, man? So, they end up crashing into the Sugar Rush game, wreck it Ralph, and one of, one of the cyborgs that gets out of the game, and basically heads into a different one. So, wreck it Ralph then lands... In the Sugar Rush game where it's all this sugary sort of world. Sort of like a dreamland for many of us. You know what I mean? With all this chocolate shit and all that. Uh, but on the way when he's pod crashing and all that shit. His medal flies off and lands on a tree. And this last called Vanellope Von Schweetz decides to go. This is my medal. Whoopee. And then runs off with it basically. Climbs up the tree. Grabs it. And then runs off. And then uses it to enter a race. In which... Her car is ultimately destroyed by a load of these people. So really that coin was used for no fucking reason. And, you know, he then feels bad and goes, look, I do not stand for bullies and shit like that. So he fixes, helps fix the car or create a new one. Sorry, he helps create a new car. Then after that, it, 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 we get a shock as these two become good friends, Ralph and Vanellope. And we see this good connection coming and growing. And Ralph's trying to help train her up to be this great racer. And then King Candy, who is the king there, who is a main racer, says to Vanellope, wait, well, says to Ralph, sorry, about Vanellope, that she is a glitch and that if she does not get contained and if that she is back entered to the... Because apparently if you win the race, she is entered back in to as a playable character and if she becomes a playable character people stop playing her in the game and Ralph's like I can't do I can't like carry on with this plan that him and Vanellope had because if they carry on this game could get shut down and obviously she Vanellope can't leave the game because she's a glitch and this will cause a load of whirlwind problems so Ralph then decides to go 
and destroy the car making sure she cannot perform in the race and he walk and he's gifted back his metal biking candy and he walks out after he goes back and he's like yo look i've got this medal everyone has evacuated his game because everybody's like they've shut the game down because no but because the characters weren't in the game basically and they shut the game down and the guy there is like yo everyone's gone because you're a dickhead and you ran away basically and he's like oh shit i made a mistake as well because he notices that vanellope is actually on the game and she's actually on the the side parts of the arcade game and he realizes oh shit i was wrong and then goes back to fix his fuck ups so he goes back then to go and fix it and say that she can enter in the race so him and felix after he busts felix out of the prison him and felix then go and fix her car and help her get her race started and when she starts the race and goes whatever we see a different side to everything as we see that king candy is in fact this known guy called turbo as he reveals himself as he keeps glitching between everything and off and basically turbo used to be a game in which started glitching out and then basically moved on to a different game and invaded a different game and basically entered himself in sugar rush and sort of deleted everybody's minds in in that sugar rush game that this Penelope von Schweetz was actually a racer and so they kept on bullying her and picking on her basically so yeah and from this the cyborgs up from the ground as this cyborg had re Producted and laid a load of eggs under the world and then it sort of end up into this really big mess where cyborgs were everywhere and the whole place was evacuated however king candy gets eaten by a, one of these cyborgs and then gets turned into this big king candy like cyborg in which is mental however the likes of Pen uh, vanellope cannot leave as she's a glitch so ralph has to figure out a way in which she can help he can help save her friend and the only way he can think of doing that is by putting his fist through a Mentos and Coca-Cola mountain which blows up and then creates this massive electing light and this forces all the cyborgs to go into this orb of light and it kills them all and then he and Felix are able to fix the track she goes over it, she's entered in way, she's now in the game again and she's now Princess Finale Reads. everyone's got their memory back and Ralph heads back to his game and gets that started again and everyone treats him with the respect because he is in fact a good guy. I just really want to mention how good Ralph and Vanellope von Schweetz's little relationship was throughout the movie. Not like relationship relationship but just friendship sort of thing. And it evolved over time as they didn't really like each other at first. Then they liked each other. Then they fell out with each other and then they were best mates and that how the movie finished basically and that was a great progression of how friendships normally work and i love that throughout i also want to mention the actors uh, Riley, uh john c riley sorry nearly fucked up his name and sarah silverman who were incredible as the character then i also want to mention jane lynch and jack mcbrayer as the likes of fix it felix and the sergeant who were also brilliant and and i just thought this was really cool and I really enjoyed the movie and I really enjoyed the actors and actresses putting their way. And I just want to say John C. Riley was a perfect actor for this role. As I'm not a big fan of him as an actor in general. But as a voiceover, he was incredible and always will be remembered as the voice of Wreck-It Ralph. To summarise this movie then, this is clearly one of the best Disney classics out of them all. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's one of them and hence why i rate this movie an 8 out of 10 let me know down in the comments down below whether you agree or disagree with anything i've said in this video also if you haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to be alert to all the new content this channel creates and i shall see you guys in the next one laters